Hi lovelies, welcome to Managing My Money with Rosa. Today is Monday, March 21st, and I am going to review my cash savings challenge. So a couple months back, I started savings challenges, way too many of them. And when I did, I came to realize that I was really struggling to find money in my budget. And looking around, I found the budget mom who did a monthly savings challenge, but it did not come out of her budget. Instead, it came out of one of her cash funds. And I went, ha, huh, that is exactly what I need to do. It'll help me set aside extra money every month and not have to worry about where's it coming from in the budget because I just don't have any extra money. So these are cash envelopes that I made. I bought, um, cardstock. There is a link down below and I'll put a card up in the corner if you would like to see how I made my cash envelopes. I'm going to set those to the side for just a moment. This is a budget mom envelope that I printed. I really think it's supposed to be for Christmas, but I like it. So I'm using it as my monthly cash challenge. So the month of February, I did every day that it was below 60 degrees. And I don't know what happened in Northeast Florida, but it didn't agree with my, my savings challenge. And there were four days that we were a below 60 degrees, one day that we actually were 60 degrees, so I say $5 in the month of January, or in the month of February, Ugh, that really stinks. So definitely doing a lot better. If you are new here, please take a second to hit subscribe down below. I have been stuck in the 360 range for, I got stuck there for like a couple of weeks, and I really like to get to 500, so please take a second, hit subscribe down below. I am doing a no spend challenge. A no spend is where you don't get something. That's kind of hard. So my no spend was specifically for frozen coffees from Dunkin' Donuts. Everybody has their, their guilty pleasures that they do and mine was Dunkin' Donuts. I'd stop at least once a week, if not twice a week, and get a frozen coffee. It was just extra, extra yummy. So last week actually was spring break. I've done really good every week. Wednesdays are my hard days. Wednesday I drive out to a school and that drive out there just if it doesn't sucker me out on the way out then it suckers me out on the way back <sighs> never fails so these two Wednesdays were serious resistance for me in order to be able to achieve that goal last week was spring break so didn't have to worry about driving anywhere and I did go on vacation to my dad's for a couple of days last week and in doing so I always have to be careful because my guilty pleasure changes and although it's not frozen coffees my guilty pleasure turns actually oh, Publix key lime pie oh there's just something about it they do such a great job and I'm gonna be honest if I had gotten a key lime pie while I was gone I was just gonna go ahead and blow out the whole week and say I didn't do wasn't successful but you know what guys oh I resisted we went a different route into my dad's house and then we went to my, see my gram I didn't have to worry about it because my dad was driving so I wasn't driving which meant I didn't have to stop into Publix yay oh so with that said, guys, I cannot believe it, and I am so stinking excited. I, again, resisted my frozen coffee and my key lime pie this week. Um, I resisted all week, did not get any frozen coffees, did not get any uh, key lime pie, because that really was going to be if I had gotten it while I was at my dad's. I was just going to go ahead and blow it and tell you guys and say, yeah, I blew the whole week. Um, but I didn't. I resisted. And five more dollars gets to go into my monthly cash challenge. Now, something that I've done up to this point is I would kind of look through and see who has a dollar and who doesn't have a dollar. But instead, I've decided that because I really didn't spend the money that I possibly could have spent, I'm just going to pull it out of my cash. I have plenty of cash inside of my envelope. So I'm just going to grab a $5 bill, stick it inside of my savings challenge envelope. I don't even count what's in here. I could probably figure it out, but I'm not going to. There are some weeks that I put a little bit extra from fast food in there, but I did not do that this week. Just the $5 that needed to go in. And that is another successful week of no frozen coffees. Yay! Oh, if you have that guilty pleasure that you just love too, I would love to hear what your guilty pleasure is. If you put it down in the comments, I'd really appreciate that. And I would just because I love to hear what everybody, oh, we all have that something. My mom was iced coffee. Um, my husband, 
his are monsters and extra sweet tea but I don't remember who the brand is pure extra sweet tea we all have those guilty pleasures and just I would love to hear what they are and I would like to challenge you to maybe try a no spend challenge to see if you can save that money instead so just thank you so much for joining me today on managing my money with Rosa I hope you have a great day bye guys